Hey guys, it's Madam Dee Dee, and I'm here with Madam Eve. Hey. And Monkey Flop. Hey guys. And this is episode six of Game On. If you haven't already, we do have a playlist on the YouTube channel with our previous podcasts, and this these podcasts are also on monkeyflop.com, so be sure to check them out. Yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. our first question is, of course, Evderman who has two questions for us. One, what is your favorite and worst comic? And which is the best card game? Smash Up, Pokemon, or Magic? So, Madam Eve, are you going to start us off? Alrighty then. Alright, so as far as my favorite comic, I would have to say it's the New 52 Batgirl. Um, like, you know, all that stuff. Um, I have, I actually have the, the hardback type so it has like a couple of co- the first i guess like it's based volumes mm-hmm. and stuff and so i have the first volume um and i read it and i fell in love with it and um going on like the volume two and all that <clears throat> and three and so on and so forth um as far as worst comic so far i don't have any and uh, because obviously, if I if I see the comic and it looks dumb, then I don't pick it up. Um, but I'm more I'm more a Batgirl fan, and like you know, mm, I would say like Supergirl, Wonder Woman, all the chicks. Um, I'm a I'm more of a DC fan. I I do like like X Men, so that's like Marvel and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, I don't have a, a worst comic. Um, if I were to say what I don't read, not, not just cause I, cause I don't like it. It's just, I just haven't. It would be like, like mangas and stuff. Manga. Yeah. Whatever you call it. That's mangas, <laughs> man. Whatever. <laughs> mangos. <laughs> mangos, man. Tomato, tomato. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As far as card games, was it like Pokemon, Magic, something? And I, I don't play card games. I attempted to play Pokemon, so I would go for Pokemon because I like Pokemon, like you know the games. Um, but if you yeah. want to go digital, I, I play Star Wars Force Collection. It has cards. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like shoot, I got Obi Wan five card, right? <laughs> five stars. Five cards. <laughs> five cards. <laughs> five stars <laughs> but that's more like an app on my phone so hey if you guys want you guys like star wars I, I, you can find me on there madam eve you know we have a legion flop troopers yeah. <laughs> so if you want to join <laughs> look it up uh, but that's about it that's me i don't know about okay about you, monkey um so my favorite comic has to be detectives comic Number 27, when Batman first appeared. I'm all about Batman. I freaking love Batman. And since this is the first time he ever appeared in comics, it has to be my favorite um, comic book of all time. It was released in 1939. Which oh, is like oh, excuse me. I, so have, I have the first Batgirl. Shh. Well, Conceded. I don't have the first, the first appearance of Batman because it's probably like thousands or ten thousands of dollars i don't know um but my heart, <laughs> my heart. <gasps> i can Cur- get a lot of watch with that <laughs> <laughs> currently i am reading the new 52 batman um which is awesome the the artist that that drew everything it just looks amazing and it looks beautiful and i love it as far as uh, a comic book that i don't like i mean like madame eve said uh if if the comic book sucks i'm not gonna read it <laughs> but um the punisher word war journal excuse me war journal <laughs> um is probably um one of my favorites just because it's a punisher but the storyline isn't as good as i anticipated and, and expected it to be as far as a card game, I, I mean, I didn't really play Magic or any of the other card games. I mean, I played poker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we all played poker. Texas Hold'em, right? Texas Hold'em. 
Um, but I have played Pokemon and I used to collect Pokemon cards. I'm a nerd like that. But other than that, that's about it for me. What about you, Madam Didi? Well, um, to be honest, uh, kind of like the opposite of Eve. I don't read comic books, but I do read manga. Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, it's not manga. I have a comic I can lend you to read. It's called Tiny Tiny Titans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So I don't really have a favorite manga. I do have like favorite type of manga, which is like shoujo manga, which is basically just like the girly romance kind of manga. Although I hate love triangles, so I always like hey, start I, it and finish and don't finish it. I gave you some Sailor Moon ones. Yeah, Sailor Moon and all that. Um, the worst, let's see, I'm going to do this on manga and not comics because I don't have any comics, but I don't like showing manga or like where they have like 500 chapters. I'm looking at you, Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 30 volumes of something because like I get lost and I don't know who's who. Mm-hmm. And as far as card games, I didn't play Pokemon which is a shocker, but I did collect the cards. But I did like that, like, like, where you just have the, you put the cards and then whoever has, like, the highest HP wins. Like, I didn't use any of the moves. I didn't use, like, the coin flip. I didn't even know what the little, the water symbols are supposed to be, like, I guess healing your Pokemon. I didn't know what that was. (laughs) So you just play pretended. I just play pretended (laughs) it. Like, I would have been beat if I went to, like, an actual tournament or something. But, I mean, I've, I have lost. tried Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Yay! I've tried Yu-Gi-Oh! I've tried Yu-Gi-Oh! And I tried, what is it? I don't know the full name. It's something Vanguard. But that's because I had a friend who always played card games. And he tried to teach me. And he, he had, like, the little beginner mat where, like, it tells you where to lay the cards. And, like, what cards <laughs> oh, mean wow. what. And I still didn't get it. Like, he taught, like, so many other people and that didn't play card games at all. And they're like, I get this. And I'm just like, this card looks cool. I played Pogs. <laughs> this card looks... Pogs are I had, awesome. I had a Slammer. Shout out to Pogs. <laughs> I had the best Slammer. Hey, I still have Pogs. If you guys want to play Pogs with me. I'm just going to sit in the corner because I don't know what Pogs are. <laughs> oh, dang, you just made me feel super old right now. I hate you. I'll teach no, they're, you. They're, hey, you'll, you'll, learn, you'll know how to play Pogs. It's there is easy. people listening to this podcast that know what Pogs are. Yeah. Maybe not the 13-year-olds, but... You know, there is some people that know. Pogs. I'll look, I'll I'll go on Amazon and find a, a slammer for you. Okay. Gonna bring Pogs back. <laughs> yeah, Pogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember I used to like wait for the ice cream trucks and go buy some more Pogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. All right, let's go. Let's see. All right, so we're going into gaming news, and this week, actually, this weekend. The PlayStation Network Store is having 10% off of everything, absolutely everything. So that is pretty cool. I know it's not much, but if you're um, going to purchase a lot of uh, items, then let's say you purchase a a $60 game, you're going to get $6 off, um, which is a pretty sweet deal. Also, I came across this on Amazon. The new PlayStation Vita is on sale for $60. I'm sorry, $169.99. Now, the difference between the new PlayStation Vita and the older PlayStation Vita is the older PlayStation Vita had a nicer screen to it with the OLED, um, but the newer one um, is a little bit lighter and it's on sale right now. So I thought that would be worth mentioning to you guys. Um, You guys can find that on Amazon. Also, in uh, in other news, which is pretty big news, now, take this as rumor and speculation, but on uh, VG247.com, um, they posted an article, and according to a digital game analysis super data, a new Resident Evil, I know that, that was, you guys are looking <laughs> at me like, lost. what <laughs> did you just say? There's a lot of big words there, right? An analyst, okay? <laughs> An analyst. I don't want that job title. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds right? important. It sounds really important. <laughs> um, 
has said that there is going to be a new Resident Evil game this year due, due out this fall. And also, the future is back with Call of Duty. Um, there's been a lot of rumors for the new Call of Duty, that is. Um, there's been a lot of rumor and speculation going um, and saying that Call of Duty's going back to World at War and older history times. Mm -hmm. um, but according to this article and according to this analysis, um, they're saying that they're going into the future um, and they're going to stay in the future. And the new Call of Duty title is going to be called Black Ops 3, which is not really a shocker because the last Call of Duty was Treyarch and that was Black Ops 2. So just take that with rumor and uh, just take it as rumor and speculation right now. But Black Ops 3 could possibly be the next Call of Duty. Cool. And then I also wanted to hear your guys' opinions on Helldivers. We, I just purchased it and we all played it and I want to know what you guys think of it. <laughs> really? I hate you right now. <laughs> Why? Because I, I I dislike you. Did I, I take your topic? Uh huh. Because I got Hell Divers. Yes, you did get Hell Divers. That was I will give me. you. I'll give okay. you a hundred percent of the credit. You you found out about the game and you. <laughs> yeah. So and you anyways. were the one that requested for us to get it so that we can all play. That was a and fun game, though. <laughs> it was a fun game. Super fun. Um, no, yeah, I had a lot of fun. And I did the whole tutorial thing and stuff. And um, and then I was waiting for Dee Dee to come over so that we can play. And, yeah, in the beginning, we were basically just killing each other a lot. Like, <laughs> left and right. He was like, oh! Don't give me a control of friendly fire is on. I, I will shoot you. I killed oh. Eve on secret ponchos. No. <laughs> was it remember when, when Monkey Flop um, died because... He was too we, close to the... He was too close to the little thing. That the, oh, yeah. The, he told us to go closer to it, too. He's like, you guys got to get close to it. To the, to the ship that... That takes us out of the level. Yeah, there you go, the shuttle yeah, thing. The shuttle. Yeah. He's, He's like, right, you're right under it. Like, all right, I'm waiting for it. Squish. <laughs> he survived the whole level and he the died dude, at the end. Yeah, well, the wasn't it the dude that was playing with us was like, you gotta get close to the shuttle. Not that close. And I was like, okay, it's gonna drop right here. I'm waiting for it. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> and then you guys entered without me. You didn't call me back or yeah, nothing. It's and then bad. I didn't get the Had points. Had to get back on the shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get out of there, man. They, those aliens, they're like after us. I was going to wait for you. I was going to save my own life. <laughs> I want the XP points. <laughs> <laughs> no, that game was like, I, it was fun. I don't like games where you have to like reload things or you have like a, a limited set of ammo because honestly, yeah. I just waste them. I'll just keep button mashing until I run out of ammo. Yeah. Well, it actually confused me because reloading is always with square, but not with this one. It w it's with uh, L1? Is that right? Uh, or R1? For what? Reloading. To reload. Reload was... Wasn't it R1? I think R so, yeah. It was R1, right? R yeah, it was R1. Yeah, I kept pushing square like secret ponchos. Yeah, and, and you just kept dolphin diving on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right into the line of fire. <laughs> Yeah, hey, at least I didn't fall off. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, we're all, we're all running away from him. I didn't and all even of get sudden... killed by an enemy. I, I ended up just running off the cliff. I was looking at someone else's little person. <laughs> I thought they were me. Until you guys said something. <laughs> Um, it, it was a lot of fun. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun, and I, I would definitely recommend um, getting it if you're into um, games like that. <laughs> it's really fun to play with like a lot of people. Yeah, if you have a lot of people to play with, then it's definitely something that's uh, worth getting. Especially if you have four controllers, because you can play with up to four people on the same screen. Or you can just jump in and play multiplayer or the campaign part of things. Madam Eve is still mad at me because I took her topic. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, in other news, um, let me see here. 
The Oculus Rift. Uh, the Oculus Rift. <laughs> In other news. <laughs> The PlayStation 4 2.5 update just got released and some of the features that we were hoping for didn't get included with it. Um, <laughs> and um, although the PlayStation 4 2.50 um, was a fantastic um, update and it brought a lot of new features to the PlayStation 4, especially sharing your trophies and taking screenshots of it, that was fantastic. But I'm curious as to know what you guys would want to see in the next update, uh, the next PlayStation uh, 4 up system software update. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm just interested in, in knowing what you guys think about that. Um, All right. Well, anyways, because somebody here took my topic of <laughs> my game yeah oh i should have figured Ugh, my bad i hate you, you know you know what the hardest you, part no 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 you're on my hit list you're not invited to oh, my whoa, birthday party whoa, whoa, no whoa, more whoa, whoa. i was just actually gonna mention one you're of the off the island you're voted off i'm off the island yeah one of the hardest things uh, about the podcast is we don't know each other's topics we come in and we actually hide our topics from each other and, I'm just and so glad I didn't take her topic. <laughs> so I'm always worried, like, oh man, am I gonna take uh, Madam Eve's topic? Am I gonna take Madam Didi's topic? And lately thief. we haven't done that, but I just did it to you, so thief. I apologize. Yes, I am a thief. I'll thief. take that. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> no, I do have a question. Okay. Um. Well, first let me um, let me just start off with saying. So I was reading up on um, on like um, game game developers and, and stuff like that, and so the topic came out about um, like multiplayer type games um, and how it it got it got really hard now for developers to come up with a good game for people for, like you know to do like split screens or um, like up to four player games yeah. and stuff like that. And so, you know, like before, if you if you think about games, a lot of games, you know, at least had the two player games, like like Mario yeah. and stuff like that, you know, old school games. And so they were talking about, um, like top nine, I believe it was like top nine um, game game develop like little indie game developers that that came up with games like for 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 two and up. And stuff, and then I was, I was looking at some of the games, and it was funny because it made me laugh, because one of the games was Star Wars. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh my gosh. That game is hard. <laughs> I kept twirling. My little narwhal wouldn't go straight. It just kept going in circles. <clears throat> and that game is awesome. No, yeah, I and I was it. just laughing because I remember that when I saw it, I had I had seen, like, someone had mentioned it, and then I, I was looking at the pictures of the game, and I was like, what the heck, this is very interesting. And and so that's when we're like, oh, you, you know, we should try it out mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. And we did. But I was still kind of nervous on like, oh, my God, are, are people going to like playing it? Yeah. You know, and but no, like it was like a big hit. It is a big I hit. Remember, every time, every time anybody um, plays with us, it's a big hit and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And um, everybody has just like Madam Didi. Had a hard, has a hard time um, figuring out the controls. Yeah. Because it is difficult to control a narwhal. But like, that's the best part yeah. in the beginning. Because you get you get you get so frustrated and people are killing you because your your little heart is out there and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I or... twirled and then Eve stabbed me in the heart. <laughs> <laughs> I stabbed you. The way you said it in the heart. What you mean like monkey flop just stabbed me in the heart? <laughs> um, By taking her topic. <laughs> And so I was like, I was thinking about that because because uh, uh, if you guys remember from a couple of podcasts, like I, I and I've, I've I've always said it that I like games where I can play with people, you know, but like they're sitting next to me. Yeah, sitting on the couch. And yeah, playing and with so them. I was I was like trying to look at different things of um like to see if there was like a, a list or something where they would put you know games for for two and and more, you mm -hmm. know. And I and I found this this one website and I should have written it down, um, 
but it, it had lists of games and then it'll tell you like if it's multiplayer games like just online you play with online people and then they had like they said couch in for people that you know see people that oh that's that awesome sit next, that you know yeah. that are there with you yeah and stuff and i was like oh okay so i was looking at a bunch of games and and of course like games that i like were on there like you know little big planet was on there hell divers was on there secret ponchos yeah. was on there and i was like this is for me you know i was all happy <laughs> And stuff and but no it was very interesting reading some of the things because like the developers were like yeah it, it gets really hard because now the thing is just it's online gaming you know yeah. you don't really have the whole people with you yeah. you know and and so I was just I was just thinking about that that that's just how things are now yeah that's, you know that's everything how it is. is like everything's all online or it's all social media that's how you contact your friends now and, you yeah. Know, less time hanging out with people but my question to you guys were was like what was your opinion on that of the whole um developing games like for 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 two and more or like split screening and stuff like that yeah and all that so what do you guys well, think well in in my <clears throat> opinion i think it's awesome and i think it has to be there it, it has to be in gaming a lot of times um most people will just have one player games and then when you invite a friend friend over and then you want to play like oh man i got ps4 come over and play and then they come over it's like oh i only have one player games we can switch off and that kind of sucks i like the fact that um there are still two to four player games and that's the best part of it inviting people over and and having a good time how about you d yeah i thought like that same thing like everything's like one player and if you're gonna do like multiple people it has to be online that's yeah. how they make it but yeah. i think they should start including two and up more players and online on a games yeah because mm-hmm. they're talking about how like financially that that's a problem too though you know because you know that that takes more more work and yeah and all that to to make games that way to have both or just yeah. one and stuff so I, I just have something to add on that. What makes me frustrated is that um, they have multiplayer in a lot of the games, but then some of the story mode games has co-op, right? Yeah. So you're thinking, okay, cool, co-op. I can have somebody sit next to me and play with me. No, it's co-op online. Mm. So you can't actually have a second controller and play on the same PlayStation. Um, it's co-op online, so the players got to have their own PlayStation 4. And I think game developers kind of do that in a way to where you have to go and buy another game. I see that with the DS. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen, like, a bunch of games where I'll, like, turn it around and they tell you, like, if you can have only one person needs the game and then, like, the other people can just download yeah. and play. Yeah. And then you have certain games you're like, this is going to be cool to, like, play with other people. And then you realize, like, the other people also have to have the game yeah. with them to play. Yeah. That that that's a, that's like actually something I I would always look at too when I'm buying a DS game and I'm like, oh, they have to have it too. That sucks. And so mm-hmm. again, you know, my thing is I'm, I'm I guess I'm just a people person because I I want to you know you know interact with people. Yeah. There's and a lot of fun. anti-social people. <laughs> <laughs> right, man. <laughs> But and cause I don't know it just it, to me it's it's a lot more fun because then you you see the people reacting to the game yeah, that's, and that's the best instead part. of only hearing them and and their facial expressions when they're playing like like Didi she she has this game game face that she does when she's playing or you can tell when it when she's really thinking about it and you can tell when she's really having a hard time with it. <laughs> it's just I didn't a, know I had a game face. You do. You have a game face. And it's just, it's funny and stuff. But, um, but yeah, um, that's all I had because, you know, like, Mr. Monkey Flop had took my whole thing with Helldivers, you know, and I was, like, going to talk about how excited I am, forget for having it and stuff and, and all that. And, um, I think that's it for me. I don't know about you guys. Well, I don't have any games, but I do have shows and movies. And this <laughs> one, I saw it, and I was like, I have to bring it up. I don't watch the show, but I'm going to bring it up because I know Eve watches it. And we did play a game based on it. Mm-hmm. 
But did you know that India wants to make their own version of Game of Thrones? I hate you! Yeah. Called it. I said I, it was mine. Oh that my was the one. Gosh. I saw it first. What is it with you guys, you thieves? Ugh. I saw this first. This was my first topic. I brought this one with me. <laughs> you know what? I saw that and I was like, okay, one of you guys is definitely going to talk about it, so I'm not even going to read about it. So tell me all about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deep. You can't be mad because I already told you that this one was going to be my biggest one. I had a big one that I wanted to bring out. I didn't even watch the show. I watched the show! Ugh. Okay, go oh, ahead. Well. Anyway, <laughs> so it's going to be called, they want, it's going to be called like Ronnie Mahal or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like their biggest problem is that like the censorship in India and then like the big budget that HBO gives it. Mm -hmm. And like they already hired like the like uh, two actresses and one actor yeah yeah and i couldn't pronounce the uh, the girl's name the die uh, uh, da, da, yeah da. well they got a guy for john snow <laughs> <laughs> that's the only name i knew how to pronounce and i don't know i saw this and i was just like if it's gonna be anything like the bollywood movies with like i don't know if you've seen it i've seen little clips of some of the movies and it's just like the action is so like exaggerated that it looks mm. really funny but i'm like unless they're actually gonna do something serious and i'm like how are you gonna do it if you have like all these like strict censorship yeah because there's a lot of stuff that comes on that show yeah and i'm in love you know but i like i love it i, I love what kind of makes the show too, yeah i know no, yeah it's all the action at times so yeah i could get gory of course the sex scenes and stuff but it's not like exaggerated sex scenes that's the thing that i like like yeah there's sex scenes and stuff and stuff and all that but it's not to the point where it's like wow that's all it is like no there, there's the storyline the storyline's amazing and the whole the acting is amazing i really love that show i'm excited for it to finally yeah and i know i also wrote they're gonna be playing season five or at the same time that it's showing in the U.S. Mm. But I kind of want to know, like, do they, how, do they just block everything out, or do they do like cut scenes, and like? It's probably gonna be like an edited version of it. Oh wow! Probably yeah. an hour show, and here it's twenty minutes. <laughs> 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 what happened? Oh, man. Yeah, but on another movie, there's going to be a new Lego spin-off movie called the billion brick race and really? yeah there's no like store there's not much information on it um all i can get was that jason siegel and drew pierce were going to be co-directors and writers for the movie and like that's all they have there's like no release date they just there's gonna be a spin-off movie mm -hmm. but then i also read that there's like four lego movies that has been announced and i was like what and i read them and i was like in 2016, it's going to be Ninjago, which I don't even write. I see it, like, on Cartoon Network, but mm -hmm. I don't even watch it. And then I saw that there was going to be a, a Lego Batman movie in really? 2017. And in my head, it's like, is it going to be the Batman from the Lego movie? Darkness. <laughs> <laughs> no parents. Like, it has to be the same personality. And then, of course, the Lego movie, too, in 2018. Yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know. I was like, a spin-off movie? Is it going to be, like... Those low budget spin off movies that you see, like the Disney movies, mm. where they really have the second one, and you can obviously tell it's like a low budget, like you have like yeah. the low budget animators. Or is it gonna be like high end, like spin off the, movie? Like good ones. Yeah. 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 And then I also saw, which I was kind of sad, was that the Nintendo CEO had addressed the rumors about a Legend of Zelda series on Netflix, what? a live action. So there was a report saying that they were working together with Netflix to create a live action series uh -huh. of The Legend of Zelda. And then the CEO, co CEO came and said that that article had false information and that it wasn't correct. Mm -hmm. But then what people were saying was that he was just saying the article was, wasn't correct yeah, in his information. So they're saying that there could still be a possibility, maybe that they might branch into shows. But when I saw that, I was like... I was like, don't do a live action. 
make like an anime or something. <laughs> I'd oh, watch yeah. that. <laughs> like I know there is like a little clip of like the Super Smash Brothers. They had like an anime style thing when they were introducing one of the the fighters, and I don't know. I saw that and I was like, that would be a great anime. Like I'd watch it. That's cool. And it came dubbed, so I was like, Evie will watch it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then I saw this other movie with Arnold. I don't like to read subtitles, people. <laughs> Someone convinced her to read subtitles. It's too much work. Yeah. And then I saw this indie movie that Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to be in. Oh, my gosh. Called Maggie. And I oh. saw the trailer, and I, ca- I can't tell if I like it or not. But it's basically his daughter is infected, and he has, he's trying to, like, protect her. Mm. And, like, I couldn't tell if it was supposed to be, like, in- zombie infected or just, like, like, there's It's probably, decaying. like, zombie infected. That's their thing. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, you see her, and she's, like, slowly decomposing, but... It, but is she still, like, alive? Yeah, like... From the trailer, they're like, oh, after the certain weeks of infection, you have to take her to quarantine. So uh, I'm like, I'm guessing it's so slow that she still has, like, function. But I guess he doesn't want to take her like to a, quarantine. Is it, like, a small movie? or? Like, yeah, it's, like, an indie movie. Uh, is it going to be, like, in theaters? I have no idea. Probably, like, those film festivals. And then maybe mm. select, like, theaters. Select theaters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the movies and shows I have. Alrighty. Well, um, I was going to talk about, because I remember I um, I, w- I had mentioned the secret cinema yeah. and stuff. Um, I got the the website. I was trying to see if I could find like more info on it and, and stuff. And I'm going to, for anybody that's interested, um, if you want to buy tickets, there are tickets still available. A, some, a lot of them are, so, are getting sold out already. So if you are interested in, in making the trip to London to see the Star Wars um, <coughs> movie, the, um, the, what you call it, the website is um, secretcinema.org. You can go there and check it out. But I do suggest that if you guys are, are thinking of like taking more people or even for yourselves, Please read the terms and conditions because I was reading it and I was like, oh, okay, some people need to know these things, you know, and just so, just for your safety wise, you know, if you guys want to, like, um, I don't know, not go anymore or something, and you already, you know, make sure you read the terms and conditions for that because I was reading it and I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna make sure I let you guys know that and stuff. But again. It's already getting sold out, so if you want to get tickets, check it out, do your research on it, and all that stuff. And it's at secretcinema.org. Um, go for the whole Game of Thrones things. If you guys still don't know the date, it's it's gonna start airing on April April um twelfth. So get on that. There is a little spoilers. If you guys want to um, hear a couple spoilers, um, I was because I was I was reading about it and stuff. And and I and I ended up like going on an IGN, you know, on IGN.com, yeah. and I was reading it, and like they were talking about spoilers, and I was like, oh, do I want to hear this or do I not want to hear this and stuff? Oh, you know about the because they saw the the first um, episode, mm-hmm. and I was like, I watch, I'll watch it, <laughs> I'll listen to what they're gonna say, you know, and so I was like, ooh, it just and the good thing is that it wasn't. It didn't ruin it for me. Like, oh, I shouldn't have watched it. It actually got me more excited to see, you know, the, the next the next episodes and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't say anything about Star Wars Rebels. No! Even though it's going to make you more interested to watch it. Because you make me nervous. Because you were like, I don't know if I should tell you. And stuff. <laughs> no, I thought about it. I was like, it's not going to, like, ruin anything. It's not even a spoiler. <laughs> Let's hear it then. No, he doesn't want me. To, I tried to convince her, and she said yes one time, and then I asked her if she was really sure, and she said no. Hmm. But I'll tell you later. Okay, I want to know. No. What is Dra- it? What is Dragon it? Dragon Flop already knows. Although he brought it up, and I was like, finally, I can talk to someone about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know. Let me rethink about this. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> 
Hey. Yes. Didn't okay. You had asked us to watch that Tie Fighter. Yes. Thing, right? Yes. Did you know. watch it? Yeah, I did. What did you think of it? It was cool. I like the. Yeah, well, you might want to explain what it is. Okay, so there was a um, a fan made film, um, Tie Fighter. It, it's called Tie Fighter Short Film, right? Mm. I, I think that's what the title is, and it was just posted a couple of days ago on YouTube, and it is epic. It's awesome, and it's a Star Wars fan fan made film. It's for like the Tie Fighter game. Yes. Like he made it as a homage to the Tie Fighter game, which made me want to play it. But it was really cool animation. Yeah, because it was like that old school anime style that was like '80s hardcore. Yeah, I like the whole. The whole drawing and everything. Yeah. The Shadow Troopers looked freaking awesome. Okay. I got upset watching it. I know why you got upset watching it. Why did I get upset watching it? Who's your fa- Who's Madam Eve's favorite Star Wars character? <laughs> oh, he got blown up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he did it! R2-D2 got blown up in the, <gasps> in the short film. <laughs> I was the whole time I was watching it, I was like, oh, this is cool, this is cool. And then I saw him, I'm like, oh, yeah. And then, no. But it wasn't the original R2, D2. It could have been like R3, 5. That's what I told myself. Yeah, it 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 wasn't him. It wasn't him. No, because he wasn't with the original characters, so it wasn't him. And we know R2 survives a lot of stuff. Yes, he does. He's seen some stuff. (laughs) Big ol' eyes. Serious. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, but like, what got me was that it took him four years or like four years yeah. worth of weekends, and it's like he did he did the drawings and animation like mostly himself, yeah. but like the help of like other people. But I was like, this was pretty good. Like, I would like to see this expanded more. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I think it'd be really cool. I yeah. think it would be fantastic to see. Yeah. Yeah, I I, li- I, I did I I liked it. It was just that. That little moment that broke my heart. Yeah. I didn't even think you would get mad about that. I just saw him get blown up, and I was like, I was like, oh, look at that blown no, up when, animation. No, when I saw that, I was like, oh, wow, Madam Eve's favorite character. <laughs> I can't wait for her to see this. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> that's why you wanted me to watch it. No. To get my heart broken. No. This is—it's just. It her, wasn't. It's, uh, it's her it, Madam it, Eve day, isn't it? it? Was. It's steal her thing. Steal her heart. Stab her heart. <laughs> <laughs> Little narwhal. You know, it's playing Star Wars. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man. It was an R2-D2. R2-D2. It was, was the... 2R2-D. <laughs> 2R2-D. <laughs> I had to think of like the reverse of it. No, it was R2-3-D. That's, that's what it was. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it, it just broke my heart, guys. Oh, man. No, but, um, yeah, the, the only other thing, tells like, oh, I want to hear their voices, you know, like, you know, when they're on, like, on their, on their ships, they're like, oh, do, 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 oh like, you only see their mouth move. Yeah, like, there was, like, no voices, it was just all the music, mm-hmm. but it did, it looked cool. I, yeah, I, I it would, was, it was awesome. I would watch another one. Like, I think the yeah. no voices made it more dramatic for yeah, me. Yeah, it did, yeah. that's the, that's one thing, is that it did. The music, the sound effects, everything about it was just awesome. I like the female tie fighter, tie pi- tie <laughs> fighter pilot. The tie fighter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The tie fighter, right? The, the moment they showed like inside the helmet, and I was like, "That's a girl." I know you're evil, but I like you. You're my favorite character. Don't get blown up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Your favorite characters always get killed off. Yeah. Then she probably did die. She probably did. I in, I think the they next... showed. They showed her like a um one of those like tie bombers whatever those things get blown up and I was like that's probably the chick. <laughs> <laughs> but then like they showed like all three of them at the same time and I was like no no she's still alive it's just some other unimportant pilot. <laughs> you messed up. Yeah. Um. Oh. I have one. Do you have one more thing? Um. I have a little thing. That was brought up, and I wanted to bring it back up. All right, go ahead. But you guys should help me convince Eve to watch subbed anime. (laughs) Because she will not watch anything that isn't dubbed. And honestly, subbed, I know, like, 
you get used to reading the subtitles, but honestly, Japanese voice actors have more emotions to their, like, voices. I so, always hear them more high pitch. <laughs> oh, well, it depends on what you watch. If you watch, like, the little ones where they have, like, the little moly, super cute girl characters, always high pitch voices. But if you watch, like, the super dramatic ones... And like the sad ones or whatever that oh, like, like blood plus yeah like I've I heard the subbed ones the voices are better, <laughs> but like there are dubbed ones where the voices are okay, but there's more emotions to it, and like it's that you can't get with the English no, subbed you, version. You, you stole I my mean topic dubbed too. I already <laughs> I claim the topic first, so you can't say that. But you should watch. I, well, I, I've watched a few, like, um, was it the, the, um, ah, oh. oh. was it the, 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 the chick one, where they all die and it's really sad? Oh, oh. Madoka there Magica, go, there go. whatever, Madoka I haven't seen Magica. it, but I know oh, what happened. Oh my gosh, that, that one was subbed. Well, it's, it's dubbed on Netflix. I shall watch it on Netflix too now. <laughs> But see, you should watch it more. The voices are so much different, and they're so much better in Japanese. And you have more variety to watch. Oh my gosh! Because <laughs> I'm trying to, like, I'm reading, I'm reading the subtitles, and I'm trying to see at the same time what's going on. And, oh, you know what you need? Back and forth. Eye drops. Because <laughs> your eyes are just getting dry from staying open the whole time. <laughs> But you get used to it. I remember before yeah. I never liked watching subtitles on on even just movies and whatever. But you really do get used to it that it's to the point where it doesn't you don't even notice like the subtitles and you can still pay attention to everything. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll give it a go again. But you will be if able you to finish watch watching Blood Plus. I will You'll just have to buy Plus. clear eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so old <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> oh hey, what? um, so I had um, um, what you call it? Right, so like, um, I I remember reading about Metal Slug. Yeah. And I never played it before, mm-hmm. right? But then you, I remember seeing a, a little topic of it, and I, and I thought it was cool, but. I, but for some reason, I thought that it was only going to be for, like, Xbox. But then you told me that it was going to be on PlayStation, on PlayStation 4. 4. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, heck yeah, should, we should get that game. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm down to play that game. Cause you, and then you were like, yeah. oh, I used to play it in the arcades all the time. Yeah. And that, that was one of my favorite games in the arcade, um, to be honest. I used to, me and my friends used to take turns and watch each other play and see how far we can get. And spend so many freaking quarters on... Oh, we because probably it bought cool. that game. We and probably s- bought that game with how much money we spent. I saw a video for it today, like a little yeah. little trailer of it, and I was like, "Oh heck yeah!" Then, if it's gonna be on PlayStation, dude, I'm gonna get it. So then, you know, my thing is, um, I just hope I like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just got released. Yeah. No, but it's a classic. I, I love it. I'm mm-hmm. gonna get it definitely for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, arcade style games. Ooh. Anyway, that's all we have for today, guys. If you, you have any suggestions or questions, be sure to leave it on the comment section below. Or if you like to add on to anything that we said, you know, or be like, Madam Eve, watch subbed anime. It's so, <laughs> so cool. We agree with Dee Dee because she's awesome. She has great mm-hmm. suggestions. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Don't steal Madam Eve's topics anymore. Oh, <laughs> next time you might steal mine. But, yeah. So, until then, guys. Game on.